Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to my yarn adventure. I have Happy Mail, Feeling the Lovies and the Scorched Earth Challenge. That's what today's video is about. Yes, it's March the 3rd, quite late at night. Um, I guess I didn't really go into it when I did the birthstone announcements for March. I got home late Monday because we had some really wild weather. My boss actually told me to leave a an hour earlier than normal and it's a 20 minute drive home but it actually took me an hour and a half because there were trees down across the highway power lines down we had a horrendous time that night um, we personally weren't too bad but there were 32,000 houses without power on Tuesday morning and yeah, it was pretty bad trying to get to work Tuesday. A lot of traffic lights not working. And so and we've had a couple of days of really bad weather, mainly because we had a cyclone that decided to sit off the coast of Cairns, about 90 kilometres out to sea, and just cough a lot. It's moved further, further out. It's now a Category 3. They keep saying it won't come back this way, but I don't know how they know that. All I know is if it was bad here, it was worse further south. So Brenda, who lives near Cardwell, one of the subscribers, I hope you're doing okay. I believe it was a lot worse there. So take care, stay safe, and let us know how you're getting on down that way. I do believe the road north of Ingham was closed to Cairns. Um, we're still having a bit of wild weather, but not too bad. And um, yeah. I got home in 20 minutes today. It took Reeves last night two and a half hours to drive 20 minutes home from work. He left work at his usual time. He rang a few times saying, I'm thinking of pulling over and checking into a hotel. But most of them didn't have power anyway. However, today started off with great news. I had happy mail. We hadn't been out to get mail, so it's probably been sitting there a couple of days. And Reeves picked it up for me and brought it home when he got home later this evening. So that's why the video is quite late. So let's get started with the happy mail. It is from my friend Colleen in Adelaide, one of my subscribers, a yarn swap buddy, and I consider a very good yarny friend. I opened it up because I wanted to find her letter. I had a bit of a sneak look. Um, to see what she had put and um, yeah it is going to be awesome because ugh, it's in this canvas bag and why I was smiling is because I had to open this little parcel to find her letter and she has gone out of her way with this it's from um, the company Yarnish which I believe is in New South Wales and she's had some pens made. Now this one says Judy at Witch Peace Craft in purple. This one says Judy in orange. We should go to work. But this is awesome. Mr. Thing. He has a pen. He always carries a pen. Never without one. He'll love this. He's currently really resting and had an early night. Um, with such bad weather, he gets quite a lot of pressure in the head and ends up with a migraine, so he's gone to bed a little earlier than normal. So in that bag is... I have to check out their website and their Facebook page because she's made some comments about their Tuesday night Facebook. It's some tea. So Australian afternoon tea, which I really love. Peppermint and spearmint tea, which Mr. Thing will pinch, no doubt. Mint refresh puka tea. He'll probably try and pinch that too. And packs of peach. I like this tea too, tea. This peach tea, it's really nice. And then there's this little tin, which I haven't opened yet. Pretty little tin. Oh wow, Little Mermaid. <laughs> little unicorn, they're little buttons. Oh wow. 
and then it's got all these little stitch markers seashell I'm just gonna put them up there more seashells this is awesome it's absolutely chock-a-block little balls full of C type stitch markers that's a dragon so yeah this octopus it's almost like having a charm bracelet little butterfly oh there's a gold one here oh, 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 don't drop ah oh, here's an enameled snowman isn't it just hold him still you see him aren't they awesome owl this is just a tin full of little stitch markers elephant oh a dog see that dog not sure if you can see it i hold it still we've been thinking about getting a dog starfish oh, swinging through i'm shaking a bit too much caffeine today another little butterfly so it was full of stitch markers lots of little silvery stitch markers I probably went a bit blurry because I'm quite shaky then there's some yarn Ooh. patents bluebell merino five ply yarn grown and made in Australia there are three 50 gram balls are they 50 grams yet yeah. 137 meters in purple that is beautiful yarn I've had um, bluebell patents before but not in this color that's not lovely then in this bag is this little bag I'm going to open this sorry about the crackling guys it matches the stitch marker tin wow oh a little project bag this is awesome look at that with a hole for your yarn this is gorgeous i am spoiled colleen you have spoiled me and then it looks like pattern books so this one is yarn lace diamond tees and there's different there's lace tops and the pattern telling you how to make them then there's <gasps> unicorn you see that I've I am getting into the amigurumi I think this may be a project on the amigurumi list for the amigurumi make along and boho chic cardigan oh that's nice the pattern on how to work it up and the yarn to use cotton a by Shrepskis or however you pronounce it <laughs> and there's a book books for self-reliance how to knit socks that fit is that a hint Colleen because I said I would given up on trying to make socks I never got around to it she has sent me oh now it looks like that's got to be a project for this year making a pair of socks that is awesome it's such an awesome gift and he mr thing will be really wrapped with his pen i love the organza bag from yarnish i'll have to check out their site i hadn't heard of them so that was my happy mail parcel from my friend colleen big thank you colleen and the subscriber um, hopefully one day we will get to meet when all this madness is over to my surprise I got a card from Barbara Leinhard I think that's how you pronounce it from the USA now you might have she sent me a beautiful card you might have heard of Barbara because she's on a lot of people's channels I'm so glad I found you and your channel 
I'm impressed with your projects and you inspire me to try new patterns and projects. I'm loving your birthstone mouth. That's awesome. I'm having my left knee replacement on the March the 3rd. It's March the 3rd here, so it's probably a few hours ahead. So good luck. Take care and stay safe, Barbara, with your knee operation. So I may miss a few videos, but I've packed my yarn in a suitcase. Good on you. It will take me to my son's, who's I will where she will recuperate. They live on a boat, um, a sailboat, about 45 minutes away. Her husband can drive over and come and pick her up sometimes. Um, but I do know where they live. I'm racking my brain. A land, Orleans. Is it in Florida? Orlando, Florida. And they live on a boat. Oh, I envy you. Not yesterday, because the sea offshore was really rough. Prayers and hugs. Love, Barbara. That is awesome. And a little sailboat inside. Now, it was so special to get that, because it was so unexpected. And, yeah, I hope you are well. And um, your knee surgery goes really well. My friend Ulia had her knees done earlier this year, and I think she's getting there, but it's not easy. She had both done. Which brings me to lovies, feeling the lovies. Barbara um, donates a lot of items to Wings for Wishes, which is done by Rose Likes Crochet. I will put a link to her last February video in the description below. And she's always sending stuff there. And February's video, there was a lot of lovies. And whenever Rose shows a lovey, I want to make them. I made a lot at Christmas and I wore myself out. But she inspired me to make lovies. Here's monkey magic. I had this little monkey in my um, stash from Christmas when I bought them. And the yarn is a um, Mondial it's discontinued. It's called Krilly Anti-Pilling. I don't know why they discontinued. I used a smaller hook than recommended. It's 4mm because it's a 3 weight or 8 ply. And um, just to give it a tighter look. But this was my lovey I have made. Now this is Zelda RJ3. Um, RJ3. I'll put a link to this tutorial because this is awesome i love it the lovey comes off you can wash them separately but there you have it he is in his daffodil or banana yellow because he's a monkey and he's monkey magic isn't he cute i really enjoyed making that i did that yesterday i think and um yeah sewed in the ends a little while ago but that was inspired by wishes for wings and barbara does donate a lot of items to Rose Lakes Crochet um, for Wishes for Wings. So, yeah, isn't that sweet? I've got a lovely card and I've been inspired to make a lovey. So today in my lunch hour, I ducked across the road to see my crafty lady friend because I was chasing something she's trying to find for me, a, a certain crochet hook. And I popped into the store next door because they often have things on special and... I have been bitten by the lovey bug because Rose says she just sees um, like toys and buys them and makes loveys. Well, I saw this one. Easter koala. Isn't he cute? That's one I bought today. And then there were two rabbits, Easter rabbits. I haven't decided what colours I'll put on them, especially the koala. If you can think what you should for his lovey what should I put around him make some suggestions in the comments below what colors I should use I did think of pink for one of the rabbits but I don't know because it's all about using my stash um, so that brings me to like I did my finished object and scorched earth challenge by Dana at Dana as Wonderlust crochet um, started March the 1st so what I am doing is I'm going to use my stash and keep a record of the meterage I use. So, for example, this was yarn in my stash I bought when they were discontinuing and I had no particular plan for it. So I've made it into this project. Now, for this project, 
I used, and I did write this all down and now I've lost it, it took 240, um, 54 metres, 278 yards of this, which was almost two 50 gram balls. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep a scorched earth record of how much yardage I use in my stash throughout the year from March 1st to March 1st next year. And, um, and if I buy yarn for my stash to finish a project, they'll have to go in there. So as you know, more in my stash, but I intend to try and pick projects using my stash for scorched earth challenge. Now I am doing, <laughs> I'm doing so many make alongs. I am doing Nan's Neck Snots, Luck of the Draw make along, and it is part of my scorched earth challenge. So it's eight, it's a basic yarn and eight colors you pick. I'll put a link to that because it's, so easy to join in even late and I had decided I had a lot of Spotlight USA style yarn in my stash and that I would use this for this challenge so I haven't worked out the metrage that I've used but my base color is black and I have done week one and week two week one was color up number eight which was the yellow and week two was color number three which is the pink and it is I'm trying to follow the pattern she is doing I'm just doing slightly different number of rows but I have said it is starting to look like a licorice all sorts blanket <laughs> I don't know do you get licorice all sorts overseas but it looks like licorice all sorts, which is what Reeves said the other night. That looks like licorice all sorts. So there you have it. Can't wait for week number three. And um, waiting for colours. I make you guys wait a month. She makes me wait a week. <laughs> but I love it. I'm enjoying this and I do plan to work out how much yardage I use of yarn stash for the Scorched Earth Challenge. And that's just some of the Scorch Earth channel that I'll be doing. So I'll put a link to that and a link to Nan's Next Knots, Luck of the Draw. Because um, you can catch up really quick, if you, even if you join in March. So, in summary, the Gift of Love Tea Cozy pattern, in February we sold 10. And they were $4.50 each, which was $45. I decided I would would absorb all the Etsy fees and we donated $45 to the GoFundMe page for Sharon's wheelchair, um, Sharon's crochet corner. So I have donated that. Thank you to all those people who bought patterns. Um, 10 was the goal for February and that was awesome. Um, we've already sold one in March. I'm only having a goal of five even though my Etsy shop shows 13 people have it sitting in their basket. So hopefully another four will buy it for March. But yeah, we made a small donation, but every little bit helps Sharon pay for that wheelchair. So thank you once again. Um, let me see. Birthstone Make Along has got off to a roaring success. Aquamarine, the colours for Aquamarine are really popular. And people are just piling their photos on Facebook. It is awesome. And I'm really enjoying looking at them, what they're making and the stitches. I really like um, Runaway Needle Red's mosaic. She stitch things she's doing. I, I don't know what you call it, but I have to give a go at crocheting mosaic style. I think it's awesome. Um, so it's off to a good start. And later just before I cleaned up and relaxed a little bit, I plan to start my calendar cow for Setter's Place for March. Um, hopefully using yarn in my stash that matches the picture close enough. I did think, oh, should I go and buy some? No, that defe uh, de defeats, and I am tired, <laughs> defeats the purpose of scorched earth and reducing my stash. So yeah, we're off to a good start. I've had an awesome start to my week. Hump day Wednesday, getting happy mail, getting a lovely card, being inspired to make lovies. Um, you guys, 
thank you so much for sticking around following my videos and enjoying the content to those new subscribers i hope you jump into the birthstone make long you can catch up it's not that hard and i hope you try some of the other make alongs that are out there thank you for watching stay safe take care and until next time make sure you have one crafty day bye for now